This is great to see you disciplined in Alec. Alec, is that when I asked you to do something? <laughs> Listen, look at me. Just... Dad, you're being too soft. Where's your authoritative voice? Yes, thank you. Oh. <laughs> you did not listen. You understand? Tim, you're rewarding him with communication. Put okay, him back nice. and walk away. Five minutes, I'll let you know. <laughs> I urge you to sit there. I know, do you want to get him? I know, but you kind of started this one, so you have to finish it. Look like Alec put you on the naughty step. Why is it difficult for you to be able to adopt an authoritative voice with Alec when implementing discipline? You know, that's a good question. I think the answer to that is I hate to be viewed as just the disciplinarian when I first embrace him. You know, so when I'm coming home from work, uh, then all of a sudden I become, you know, the warden. Millions of working dads have the same problem as you do. Mm -hmm. When they come home, the last thing they want to do is to enforce discipline. They've not seen them all day, and the first thing they want to do is to be able to have fun with the kids. Absolutely. But as long as you hold that subconsciously on your shoulders, mm -hmm. you're going to carry on not enforcing discipline when necessary. Make sense? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Here we go. This is Alec, like a disaster area. Come here. It is part. What are we going to do before dinner? Yep, we're going to do Dad? it. Dad? Bryce is giving me some assistance. You. He's going to put it, help me put this stuff away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Stop. Hey. You don't deal with it because Dad's going to deal with it. Okay. I'm going in the Listen. Car. Listen. No. I asked for your assistance and you're helping me. All right, Dad. Yep. Leave him. Don't strain him down. Okay. Stand up, Bryce. Dad had to give him a warning and follow through. And off Bryce went to the naughty step. Place him on the step outside and then explain why you put him there. You're sitting on this naughty step. You know why you're sitting on the naughty step? Is because you have not listened to Daddy when I asked you to come there. You got it? And I will sit, I'll call you when it's five minutes. You're sitting right in the step. Do you understand? Thank Dad, you. let's go. Let's go. Don't, 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 no talking. No talking to him, remember? He did try to test those boundaries, and he got off from the step. Bryce, on the step. You're talking, Dad, to Bryce. You're communicating with him, and that's rewarding him mm -hmm. with your attention. Oh, Five minutes is off. Daddy, why is it taking so long? Dad, for the first time, turned a corner. He was very direct with Bryce. He followed through, he implemented the discipline correctly, and he got the result. Can you say you're sorry to Daddy? Huh? Can you say you're sorry? Okay, what? Uh, prior to Joe's arrival, I was rationalizing too much with the kids and expecting too much. My approach to discipline now is much more direct and without compromise. I'm giving an order, that's the end of the message. Let's go choose what we're going to have for dinner. I've got shrimp and some pasta or no pasta. Mum did very well at reinforcing dinner tonight. She gave them expectations at the table. She was definitely encouraging and upbeat. Do you know what I'd like to really see, though? You using your fork. That is what I'd really like to see. Can you use your fork? Let's see if you could. Yeah, when you're done with the shrimp and the peas. When you're done with the shrimp and the peas, please. Bryce was not in a good mood, and he continued to have that mood throughout dinner time. Listen, Bryce, listen, listen, Bryce, listen. Not talking to you. Well, you know what, that's not, Excuse that's not me? nice behavior. Bryce was back chatting Dad. Mom and Dad dealt with it. They were in control together, supporting one another, and were able to turn around a negative situation into a very positive one. That's your last warning. You are not to talk to Daddy that way. I want you to go over there and say you're sorry. He can't hear you. Go say you're sorry for talking the way you did. Tim and I were working together toward the same goal, and um, it really felt pretty good. What? He didn't hear you. Look how far he is. I want you to go make eye contact. What, what is it, Bryce? <laughs> Bryce, what are you sorry for? I said it. For what? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, for talking back. Thank you for saying you're sorry, sweetie. Tim and I were actually working together. Honestly, I don't think it has ever happened before, and it felt really good. Bye. Come and give me a high five. I don't have one. Give me a high five. 
The experience with Joe in the house uh, has been a very positive one. Bye-bye. What Joe taught me, I will use forever. I'm actually on my way home, and I am leaving you guys now. Confidence, confidence, working together, and remember the values you're teaching here. Thank you. You're welcome. The experience with Joe was very enlightening. We had a lot of fun with her. Thumbs up, thanks a lot. The Wujik family have made a lot of progress. Tony and Tim now work together and the boys have discipline. And I think overall the whole family have a better appreciation of what they have.